In this video, we're going to create a macro landscape. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. So over the last few weeks, I've had a lot of new people come on board because of the dandelion clock with the little water drop video. A lot of people like, so I thought I'd do a follow-up video with some more dandelion clocks, but this time we're doing something that's slightly different. We're gonna create a macro landscape. And what I'm envisioning is a dandelion forest. What I have noticed, and obviously a lot of people have contacted me saying that they're not, they, they like the channel, they like my work, but they don't like insects. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of this type of work that doesn't involve insects. I'm thinking about calling it a new series called Macro Landscape, where we try to create a kind of landscape picture using macro photography. So for this first one, we're going to be creating, like I said, a dandelion forest. So we have some bits and bobs on our table here. We have our dandelion clocks, a couple of twigs, some modeling clay, just in case we need it. So I have various flowers that I went and picked out of my garden. We're gonna be using some of that. We have some moss and some grass and we have a plate. Now the plate is upturned. We're gonna put our scene on the top. It'll help lift it up a little bit as well. And we're not gonna use all of these items. These are just examples of the type of stuff you can pick up out of your garden. I'm gonna bring my camera in. So for this video, I'm gonna be using the Canon 650D. The lens I'm using is the Canon 100mm f2.8 ISL. We're gonna be using the Young Nuo triggers to trigger our camera wirelessly. So for this video, we're going to be using mirror lockup. No, we're not. We're going to be using live view and I'm going to be using my triggers to trigger the, uh, the camera. And we're going to do some long exposure, probably about one second. All right, so the first thing I need to do is choose our subject for our grass. So for this, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw some bits of moss onto the plate like that. So what we're going to do now is bring the camera in, look in live view and see what type of composition we can get with just this part, which is going to be the very bottom of the frame. But these are going to be like the, uh, the floor of our forest. So I'm going to bring in my camera. I'm going to pop into live view. So if you follow along with this video, pop your camera into live view if it supports it. I am in video mode in case there's any eagle eyed viewers out there that notice that. That is so I can record what this camera is seeing and you'll be able to see that. I'm going to focus to one to one to begin with and then I'm going to bring in my landscape and see what we have. So before we set up our, our scene here which you can see I'm going to pop in a dandelion clock because we need to work out what the magnification needs to be for this scene. What I want is to have the entire clock in view so that the top of the clock would you know essentially be the top of a tree. I'm going to place that in there and you can see there that we're not getting any detail with the clock yet. Let's bring that up. I'm going to back it off a little bit. Okay there we go that's more like it. So from there you can see roughly what we're aiming to try and get. What I need to do now is just pop in a couple more dandelion clocks, preferably ones that are not broken. You can see there how we're starting to build up a forest and to make things easier for myself what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this over here, I'm going to work from the back, come forward and I'm going to put in a load of dandelion. Just inserting them into the moss. And they don't have to be lined up or anything because the more random it is, the better, I think. You do have to be careful when doing this because if you breathe too heavily, you're going to knock them over. I'm going to create a second patch just here that we have an alternative version because it's a lot greener. Let's do that now. And these dandelion clocks are very, very delicate. So do be careful because you don't want to break them. Especially if you've only got one flower to work with. Let's see what that looks like through the lens. You can see that one patch just there. And then we have another patch. 
just there. But I do like the, um, the the green patch of this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that piece of moss. Okay. And let's get some modeling clay. I'm going to use that to lift this piece up. So it's level with the piece that's behind it. Okay, need a little piece under there as well. Okay. I've got one that's fallen over, so let's just fix that now. Now let's see what that looks like through the lens. It's kind of like an island. So what I'm doing now, I'm just breaking off a bit of the moss. Okay. So we can get those that section just here, a little bit closer. Okay, don't need that piece of plasticine, let's remove that. There we go, so we've got some dandelions in the background now. And now I'm gonna continue building up the dandelion clocks in the middle here. I'm just placing them in at random. Okay, so I'm gonna pop into live view. And Let's try 7.1 to begin with on the f-stop. I saw 100. Now let's have a look at this. What's it going to be at? Look at the focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on one of the dandelion clocks that are in near enough the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to back off from my camera just a little bit because I have, as, as you know, if you've watched the channel, any of the videos, you know I've got bit of a wobbly floorboard. I was going to back off, leave it a few seconds and then press the button to take the picture. There we go. So let's take a look at that. So yeah, that's looking okay. But uh, we need to fix the background. So in live view again, I'm going to grab my background cards. And I'm going to quickly have a look at what looks good in the background. No. Hmm. That could be a possibility. So this card, I've used it before, it's got green and blue on it. But if we can get it into position so that the green is near enough the bottom of the frame and then turns to blue at the top, it might make it look like it's uh, like a sky. So let's get this. This is my specimen holder, okay? get that from Wii Macro. So again, let's take another test shot and see what we got. Wait until they calm down a little bit. And because we have put a background in, our exposure has changed. Wait for everything to calm down. In fact, it's slightly overexposed. That's one six of a second now. Okay, so it's looking good. What I want to do is add some little flowers into the image. Let's grab these flowers. And the ones I'm looking for specifically are the chickweed flowers. These are very, very small white flowers. I'm going to pluck those off. And I want to bring that in on the edge of the frame. See where it looks good. And... To be fair, it looks like it's a bit distracting, so I'm not going to use that. Let's try these blue ones in the background, maybe. No, they look distracting, so I'm not going to go with that. On the bottom right and left corners, we're, we're lacking a little bit of um, dandelion seeds, so I'm going to put some more in there. Again, using my live view, I'm just going to look on the live view. See where I need to place this for it to look good. There should do it. Okay, let's do this side now. All right, let's take another picture 
Again, this is only a test picture. See what we got. Beautiful. The only thing that's missing now is some water drops. So, at this point you can choose, do you want a single water drop or not? What I'm going to do, I'm going to go with a single water drop to begin with because then we can add more on afterwards. What I need to do is ID this dandelion seed right here to see which one it is I'm actually focusing on. That's the one. So I'm going to just pop a single little drop of water onto that dandelion. See that coming out? There we go. Now we dropped another one down below. I'm going to have to suck that up now. Just get in there and suck him up. There we go. So this is a diabetic syringe, okay? You know someone who's diabetic, you might be able to ask them if they can supply you with a single syringe. So using my live view, I'm just going to focus on that water drop. Okay, get ready to take a shot. And you notice that water drop is right on the rule of thirds, top left corner of the rule of thirds, okay? Here we go. And there we go. We have ourselves a nice little dandelion forest. I'm just trying different backgrounds now to see what looks best. This is an A4 version of my background. But I still think the I still think the green is the better one. So you can see there how when I'm putting the torch onto the background, how different it looks. Yeah, we can get all kinds of different looks just by changing the lighting. Now bear in mind that I have a lot of video light in here so you will get different results when you try this okay. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to lie my torch down facing this background. Again I would really like it to be blue at the top. Bend it a little bit. Again I'm just holding it there I've just spotted something that looks like it's um, golden now, like the sun's going down. I'm just going to take a picture of that and we'll get back on track. See there? That looks interesting, doesn't it? Let's bring this uh, shutter to speed down a little bit. I'm going to turn that off. And I'm checking the exposure for the foreground, okay? That looks okay. Okay, you ready? Beautiful. You see that? Nice. Okay, so you can see we've created an interesting picture there. So at this point, you'd normally finish, but I'm not going to finish because I'm going to push it just a little bit further by spraying some water onto our dandelions. And the reason I've left this to the very end is there's a 50-50 chance we may ruin our scene by spraying water onto it. But um, let's give it a go. 50-50 chance, let's see what happens. Okay, so we were lucky, it's worked. So this here, it came with a men's aftershave kit. It's like it has perfume in and it's like a travel bottle. Great for macro photography, absolutely fantastic. If you want to pick up one of those, have a look at some men's or indeed women's. I don't know if women have these travel bottles, but I would assume they would where you put perfume in and a travel bottle that you can put in your purse. So have a look for that if you want one of those. Okay, so let's do our background. Mm -hmm. So before we finish, I'm going to check different focusing points to see if there's anything that stands out. In fact, there is a little one here that I want to get, see if we can get in focus, right there. Let's zoom in on that. You can use your live view to zoom in. I'm going to focus right on that one. And again, we're going to do exactly the same again. I'll grab my background card, my torch. Now 
What do you think of this? Do you think I should make a series out of this called Macro Landscapes, where we take different objects and we try to create a type of landscape image? Let me know in the comments below if that's something you want to see. Here are some more examples of dandelion forest that I've created in the past. These examples have been edited in Lightroom and then taken into Photoshop to have some distractions removed. So that's it, that's how you can create a macro landscape. What did you think of the results? Did you like them? Did you dislike them? Let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going to leave it to you to play with your f-stop, your lighting and your subjects. Let your creative juices flow, okay? The macro world is absolutely fantastic. Just go out there and photograph it. And while I'm talking about macro world, have you joined the macro world Facebook group yet? Link in the description if you wish to. Make yourself some macro landscapes, post them in there, let me see them, I'd love to see your work. My name's Stuart Wood, I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video, and as always, I'll see you on the next video. In this video, we're going to... Oh, hold on. Do that, thank you. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood, and welcome to this macro video. No. Okay. So, for this video, we're going to be using mirror... Oh, which is going to be the very bottom of the frame it's like say the grass or the bracken that you would have up um, in a landscape or up the woods i'm bumbling again i'm rambling on and on and on get, get. Uh, slow down <laughs> it's slow down okay right i just blew my dandelions all over the place but no matter it's uh it came with a men's so for this video i'm going to be using the canon 650d with man, 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 what the mouse, what's a man?